This is the Daily Pulse from Speak By Word Ministries. I'm Travis Zimmerman, and the Daily Pulse today comes out of the last book, the very last book of the Old Testament, Malachi. And then there's a 400-year break between Malachi and when we pick it back up in Matthew, the book of Matthew, when you start describing Jesus' lineage and genealogy. And it's, 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 it's uh, Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. I, the Lord, do not change. I, the Lord, do not change. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. And just by way of contrasts, you know, the other day we just got a van, replaced our 11-year-old uh, Montana, and we replaced it with a Honda Odyssey. And the the disc in it was it was an old navigation disc, so we had to get it. We had to get a new navigation disc, and this is the because it was missing some roads, you know. And of course, there's a lot of buildings, and the version we had was like like 3.63, and then this one was like 3.94 or something like that. Regardless, it's a 4.63 and 4.92. I mean, so streets change, you know. And then I'm reading a, a really interesting book here in between classes at Liberty. It's called The Kingdom of the Cult, and it goes through and describes, you know, what, you know, what Jehovah's Witnesses, the Mormons, also the Christian Science, and how that is. And just by way of changing, listen to this. Listen to this fact. It says. Well-informed Mormon historians and theologians are equally aware that the first edition of the Book of Mormon and the present edition of the Book of Mormon are quite different in 3,913 separate instances, over 25,000 including punctuation changes, the first edition having been revised and corrected by Joseph Smith and his successors over the last 150 years. You know, and that's a whole other subject in itself, and I will address that in another Daily Pulse about some of the cults, and that's a, a fascinating and dangerous subject. But we change, you know, our moods change. We're up, we're down, we're happy, we're sad, we're glad, we're mad. I mean, it's all over the board, you know. It depends on, you know, what our circumstances are. But you know, the thing that is so comforting is it in, in Malachi 3, 6, where God says, I, the Lord, do not change. God is constant. He's always here, you know. And, and I encourage you to be in this good book every single day. And as I've shared before, it, be in this book at least once, but you know, if, if it's a tough day, twice, and if it's a really tough day, get in there three times. I mean, God wants us to know who He is, and He's given us this book. But most of all, he, He's given us a Savior. He's given us a Savior, Jesus Christ, who has not changed. He loves you completely, regardless of all the sins. And because of the sins you have, He's chosen to take Himself to the cross, crucified Himself on the cross, allowed Him to have Himself crucified. It was all willing. God... He could have called down over 72,000 angels like that and it would have been over, but yet he allowed himself to be crucified because he loves you and he loves me. He loves us. We are his children and he wants to have a relationship with you. So, I, the Lord, he says, I, the Lord, do not change. Trust him. When you're down, trust him. When you're up, trust him. Know that he is always there for you. In Jesus' name, Lord. Amen.